Well, this is what I've figured out so far, and uh, it is a bit terrifying. So if my voice is shaky, well, that's why. Turn it on. Tesla battery is hooked up. Now this port here tells me the voltage of my battery. And I've got 23.80 volts. Not quite fully charged, about three quarters charged probably. This port here tells me the current because it's the voltage drop across this resistor, which appears to say it's 50 millivolts at 500 amps, which is its maximum rating. So it's at zero right now. Press the green light, start that spinning. I don't know if that does anything or not. But if I start turning this up, at some point, you start to hear the screaming of the electrons. I don't know if you hear that on the video, but there's a high pitch whine. Probably there's dogs howling down the street. And that what I figured out is, that's actually these resistors. Oh, they're actually getting warm. They're singing. And I turn this up. Uh, now it's screaming. All right, we're at three point three two three, whatever that means, and I am at seven millivolts. This thing is making noise and screaming. Oh, I'm getting kind of hot. So this is working. I'll figure out what seven millivolts means there. First I thought it was the controller that's screaming, but now it's this resistor. So good, it is working. Boy, is that annoying. Turn it back down again until the screaming subsides. We're good. This is only with 30 volts. We want to test this on our bus battery over here. First of all, turn this dangerous contraption off. We want to test this with our bus battery. This is six Tesla modules stacked in here. We want to do a load test on this and check our BMS at the same time. And see what our BMS is telling us. Right now, on this battery module, on this battery pack, that's what we have. It's balancing out, get a somewhat imbalance before we put it in the bus on Monday. But I do want to do another load test at the full voltage with this contraption.